This is the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G, a mid-ranger from Xiaomi with an impressive 200 megapixel camera. It's not only that, there are other nice upgrades this year too. I'm Will for GSM Arena, and let's see what the Redmi Note 13 Pro is all about in our full review. Another year, another suite of Redmi Note mid-rangers, and today we're talking about the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G. It brings plenty of upgrades over last year's Redmi Note 12 Pro, including an improved display, a faster chipset, and that 200 megapixel main camera. Let's start off with the design though. It's pretty typical for Xiaomi. You get a square camera housing with subtle dividers and large chrome rings around the cameras. The phone's back is made of flat glass and the frame is made of plastic. Together, its sharp edge and matte finish make for a decent grip. The Redmi Note 13 Pro has IP54 rated ingress protection. Compared to last year's IP53, it's a bit of an improvement in water resistance. The display of the phone is a 6.67 inch OLED with a 1220p resolution, Gorilla Glass Victus protection, and a 120Hz refresh rate. This display is sharper than last year's 1080p panel. The higher resolution results in a pixel density of 446 ppi. Another upgrade is the support for 12-bit color depth, and their support for HDR10 Plus video and Dolby Vision, just as before. Like many phones in the industry, the Note 13 Pro has come out with a significant increase in screen brightness this year. We measured a maximum of 530 nits when using the manual slider, and this was able to boost to 1330 nits in auto mode. And the refresh rate behavior here is pretty standard. You get a smooth 120Hz, which can dial down to 60 when you stop interacting with the screen to save energy. You can wake up and unlock the Redmi Note 13 Pro with a snappy under-display fingerprint reader. It's a new development. Previous models use a side-mounted one. For audio, the phone has a pair of stereo speakers. They scored a very good mark for loudness, and the sound quality is good too, with great vocals, nice highs, and some bass. There's a larger storage option this year. You can get the Global Note 13 Pro with 256 or 512 gigs on board. That isn't expandable through microSD. And the interface of the Redmi Note 13 Pro is nothing new. It's Xiaomi's MIUI 14 running on top of Android 13. It's the same interface that we saw last year, but the phone should get an update to Xiaomi's new Hyper OS at some point later on. We have a dedicated video about MIUI 14, which we'll link here. And when our video for Hyper OS is ready, we'll drop a link for that as well. At the heart of the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G is a Qualcomm chipset, a Snapdragon 7S Gen 2. Don't get confused by the naming, it's actually less powerful than the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 or even the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. Still, it's an upgrade over the MediaTek Dimensity 1080 that was inside last year's Redmi Note 12 Pro. You get solid everyday performance and 5G connectivity, and in benchmarks, both the CPU and GPU are pretty good for the mid-range class. And while this isn't a gaming phone, the Note 13 Pro 5G does an okay job with games. Powering the phone is a 5100 mAh battery, but despite the large capacity, the Note 13 Pro earned just average numbers in our battery tests, with an overall active use score of 10 hours and 16 minutes. Like previous models, the phone supports 67 watt charging, and with the bundled adapter, we were able to charge from 0 to 83% in half an hour. A full charge took 42 minutes. Now we have the cameras. The new main cam has a whopping 200 megapixel resolution. Not that long ago, this sensor would have been a flagship exclusive. Together with that camera, the Note 13 Pro has your usual mid-range fare, an 8 megapixel ultra-wide cam, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. Starting off with the main cam, it produces excellent photos during the day, at 12.5 megapixels because of pixel bidding. The shots have great sharpness, plenty of fine detail, wide dynamic range, and true-to-life colors and contrast. In some rare cases, we see slightly clipped highlights, but it's nothing too alarming. Here's a comparison to the Poco X6, which is the same phone, but with a lower res main camera. There's a noticeable difference, with the Redmi having clearly superior photo quality. If you zoom digitally to two times, the results are solid. There's minimal loss in quality, and it doesn't introduce much noise into the frame. At night, the main cam does an impressive job, with good contrast and color reproduction, wide dynamic range, and plenty of fine detail. 
There is an automatic night mode, but it will only kick in for really dark scenes. When it does, you get a bit of extra detail, added sharpness, and better rendition of the highlights and light sources. 4K videos from the main cam have great detail and sharpness, accurate colors, and wide dynamic range. All videos have electronic stabilization too. Low light videos are solid for a mid-ranger. There's an adequate amount of detail, good contrast, and natural colors, but there's noticeable noise in the shadows too. The photos from the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera are far from impressive. These shots are rather soft and lacking in fine detail. Colors seem muted, and the contrast needs improvement. And at night, the ultra wide cam's output isn't good. Although contrast, colors, and dynamic range are okay in most cases, the extreme softness doesn't sit well with us. Even the dedicated night mode has a hard time salvaging the photos. 1080p video from the ultra wide cam is nothing to write home about. It looks washed out and soft, with limited dynamic range. 2 megapixel close ups from the macro camera have a limited amount of detail because of the low resolution. Plus, the lack of autofocus makes it extra hard to take a sharp macro photo. And selfies from the 16 megapixel front facing cam have good dynamic range and natural rendition, but overall they are a bit soft. So that's the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G. There's plenty of upgrades over the previous model, including a better display, chipset, and main camera. There's a larger storage option, and under display fingerprint reader. Plus there's a competitive fast charging, and nice speakers. Of course, it's not perfect. The other cameras besides the main one are lackluster, about what you'd expect at this price point. Besides that, the Redmi Note 13 Pro is solid all around. It seems to offer some of the best bang for your buck on the market, and it's worth recommending. Thanks for watching guys! If you're looking for alternatives, you can check out our reviews of the Poco X6 and the Samsung Galaxy A54. Let us know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.